Welcome big dogs. Today I'm going to step through an Excel application to determine the density of a gas. So the density of a gas is used in several applications. If you're a mechanical engineer you're going to encounter fluid flow problems and if you've gone through school you've applied Bernoulli's law. <laughs> so Bernoulli's law has density on both sides of the equation usually and you also need density to determine things like hydrostatic head, velocity head. It's just got a broad list of applications especially when you get into the computational fluid dynamics realm. You're going to need to determine the density of your fluid before you even run a simulation. So you can go Google densities and that sort of things but I think you'll be limited in what you can find specifically for your application. So it's good to develop a spreadsheet to determine the density for you know several different gases and I think this is what that spreadsheet does so what's different about this spreadsheet and what, what makes it useful is you calculate density using this equation down here and you can see here this gamma G is the specific gravity of the gas so you can basically determine the specific gravity of any gas that you're using or that you're applying and put it in here and it'll calculate the density that's really easy to do so your inputs to calculate density for this application is temperature in degrees Fahrenheit pressure gas specific gravity and then we have some mole fractions of some substances that change the compressibility factor and um, you know this really depends on what correlation you're using I'm using the Hall and Yarborough correlation to determine my compressibility factor so the inputs are going to be nitrogen mole fraction CO2 mole fraction and H2S mole fraction and you'll encounter this uh, in uh, if you're in the petroleum engineering industry you'll encounter uh, these mole fractions in your gas streams but you know if you don't have them and in, in you're in a different industry you can just uh, assign them a value of zero if you want to. So um, it goes through, it converts my temperature to degrees Rankine and then determines this compressibility factor and um, you can see here it takes into it all of these inputs right here and um, I'm using the Hall and Yarborough correlation which I did a video on that but you can use any correlation that suits you in your application and then we take and we determine density using uh, basically the gas specific gravity pressure temperature and Z factor and so you can go change these values um, you know maybe it's temperatures 220 degrees F and then maybe the um, pressure is 1000 PSIA you could go lower, you could go to 50, you could go to 25 and you can see it updates our density value down here every time I put in an input and so that's how that's calculated real simple right anybody could set this up um, but you may want to derive an equation that's different than this one um, I'm calculating density in terms of pound per foot cube that's great for my applications but it may not be good for your your setup so how this equation is derived is shown here to the right um, I'll zoom in here basically you start off with the real gas law PV equals ZNRT where the number of moles is going to be the mass of the gas over the molecular weight of the gas you can rearrange this equation basically put density on the left hand side which is mass over volume and then multiply the resulting equation by the molecular weight of air over the molecular weight of air so that you can put this equation as a function of gas specific gravity so you can rearrange it you get this right here and gas specific gravity is shown here so the specific gra the specific gravity of the gas is going to be the molecular weight of your gas that you're running through your system over the molecular weight of air and then I have a universal gas constant in these units it's got foot cubed in there and also 
pound moles. So my molecular weight of air is 29 pounds per pound mole. When I put those in, I get this equation down here in units of pounds per foot cubed. So that's how that's derived, and you can change that this equation up to whatever uh, units that are appropriate for your application. But that's it, guys. That's how you determine the density of a gas with a simple spreadsheet application. So I hope you learned something, and I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time. Adios.